Hey, this is Richard Miller with Goldie May, and here's how Goldie May integrates with Genealogy Bank. Genealogy Bank is one of the big three commercial newspaper websites in the U.S., and they have thousands of titles. Each of those thousands of titles is available in the Goldie May command palette. This is the premium feature at the top right, the little magnifying glass. You can also open it with Command K or Control K on your keyboard. With that, you're now searching across collections or titles on multiple providers, including Genealogy Bank. So I'll filter down to Genealogy Bank. I can, uh, you'll notice that there are four Genealogy Bank collections on FamilySearch, so you'll see those. But then anything after that is coming uh, directly from Genealogy Bank. I could search for a state. I could add on a county. Even if I didn't know what I was looking for, I might type in, say, Ann Arbor. And Genealogy Bank has tons of content for Ann Arbor. I could add a year range, so maybe my ancestor lived there during a certain time period. And I don't need to know the year range of the newspaper, just the range of the ancestor. And it will filter those down to newspapers that were there at the same time and place. Okay, so the next step is then you're gonna hit enter on any of these titles that look interesting to you. And that will open those in a new tab on Genealogy Bank. Now you could do a search for your ancestor and you're much more likely to find uh, them in the newspaper if you're already looking the right time and place. Now to take this a step further, I'm gonna open up the subway map for a certain relative and let's turn on hints. You'll notice that there are these gold bars. These are newspaper hints. Our ancestor, my, my relative here lived in uh, Windsor, Vermont and then was briefly in Rhode Island and then back in Vermont. So during that time period they lived in Rhode Island, there are three newspapers from Genealogy Bank that ran during that time period. You'll notice that the hint, by the way, extends backward to as early as he might have been living in Rhode Island and as late as he might have been in Rhode Island. So I can click on any of these links and it will open up Genealogy Bank and run a search for my ancestor. It's gonna pre-fill the name and pre-fill the year range that might align. And yeah, there's great results. There's uh, multiple verns I would have to go through to see uh, if this is talking about my person, but if you're in a, you know, especially if you're in a small city or county and, and especially if you have a unique name, it's really likely that you'll find some, uh, you know, newspaper results for your ancestor if you're looking at the right time and place. And it's so fun to find that. So uh, I, check out the Goldie May subway map, put in your ancestor and then see what Genealogy Bank content you might find for them. Goldie, uh, Genealogy Bank has tons of great content. So you're, uh, there's a good chance you'll find something for your ancestors as you browse around on the subway map. And that is how Goldie May integrates with Genealogy Bank.